Hi, in today's video we have this table here with month of the year and with cells for each month. So we want to select everything and insert a chart. So we have two options, one is here, we have the icon for inserting a chart. So let's see what options do we have. We have chart type, okay, we have column, bar, and so on, by, and depending what we want to have in our chart. So line we have here with surfaces, just points, uh, and so on. We have many kinds of charts, but let's go to column. After we select the chart type, we have here on the right many other options for that uh, kind of chart. So in this case we have normal or stacked or uh, percentage percent stacked. Let's choose uh, first the first option, so the normal one. We can check to have a 3D look. You see here we have a shadow or and here we can have a simple 3D look. We have a much clearer margin and um, we don't have so much shadow. Or we can change the shape to cylinder, cone or pyramid. Let's uh, go with 3D look. And let's change to data range, the next level. Here we specify what data we want in our chart. So from A1 to B13. So everything what we have in this um, area. Also we can have data series in rows or in columns. In our case all the cells are in a column. So we have data in columns. Uh, let's see if we change. We have a, a wrong a chart. So let's change. We have data series in columns. If we uncheck first row as label, the first row, meaning month and cells, will enter in the chart. So we have the month here, this label in, included in the chart. It's not okay, so this is a label. The first row is a label, so we have to keep it like that. Now, the next one is data series. So this is uh, our series of data cells. We have some things to change. Border, fill, color. We will talk in our next episode about them. How we can personalize and change uh, automatic. But this is more advanced. And uh, we will see in the next episode. Um, the name, it's, uh, you can see in the chart, it's B1. So it's this term here, cells, we have in the legend of the chart. So it's automatic, uh, the label of our column. And categories are uh, on the left, the month of the year what we have in the chart uh, below the table, the chart. Let's go to I values. So I values are uh, all the values here and the categories. Okay. And categories are from the left, the month of the year. Let's go to next. We can choose a title in this case sales for 2021 and we have here the title and subtitle uh, monthly okay x axis means uh, on the right of the chart we can specify that these uh, 12 are months but is not necessary because we know that January, February are months. I-axis in this case are some values, but we don't know if these are yens, 
euro, dollar, so it's very important to specify what they are. So in this case, we know that these uh, 10,000 are euro. We can display now the grids. So in this case, I unchecked, so I don't have any grid. I, I, I can check X axis like that, but let's keep it by default. Now let's talk about this legend here. In this case, we have just cells, so we don't need a legend. But let's see if we change the options. We can have the legend in the bottom, on the left, in the top, or we can disable because we know we just analyze the cells. And we can press finish. In the next episode, we will see more advanced feature in order to change our chart. So thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video.